quick little short story for you, bro. So I was working out at Planet Fitness this weekend. And in the mornings from like 8 to 10, my wife is well aware of the fact that I go to work out and I dedicate myself to that workout and I don't get disturbed during that workout. However, she decides to text me anyways and disturb my workout. And then she texted me one of those meme images that's talking about, oh, my husband received a text from a woman and he looked at it and then he blocked her and then everything was happily ever after and now I respect my husband so much more. And then she asked me, would you do the same for me? And I replied, well, yes, of course I would. But then it didn't matter what I answered because no matter what I answered in that situation, you know that whenever they ask you, would you do the same thing? Would you do this or would you do that? It doesn't matter what you answer because now the 20 questions are going to begin. Oh, but what about if it was like this? What if it was like that? What about if this happened instead or that happened instead? So now she's interrupting my workout with all these stupid bullshit questions that don't have anything to do with anything and have nothing to do with anything that's happening between us. Literally nothing. She's just bored at work and she's texting me because she's bored. So now I'm... I'm losing like time efficiency between my workouts to reply to these stupid questions that don't have anything to do with us as a couple. I'm kind of upset because I had a whack ass workout after that because I'm I'm like kind of frustrated at the fact that these questions were getting asked for literally no reason other than just the fact that she was bored. So then I try and decide that, you know what, maybe she just had a boring day or maybe it's been a frustrating day with her. So I'm just going to put my frustrations with her aside and I'm going to go ahead and cook lunch for us. So I grab the rice bucket, push. Now I've spilled three pounds of rice all over the floor. I am livid with myself at this point. And this, I probably wouldn't have dropped the bucket if I wasn't already frustrated. So now I'm even more frustrated at the fact that the rice is now all over the floor. So I go and brush up all the rice and I scoop it up and then I have the rice weight unevenly distributed on one side. So when I go to dump it in the garbage, it all starts falling off on one side and half of the rice spills back on the floor. So at this point, I'm actually pissed now and I, I, I shit you not, I chucked my dustpan out the back door because I was just that frustrated that this actually happened where I spilled the rice back all over the floor again. So now I'm actually pissed. And now I'm just aggressively sweeping the rest of the rice out of the door because I don't even care. And now I need to get the egg ready. Well, I'm already still kind of heated from the fact that I spilled rice and then I spilled rice again and it's all already frustrating me. So now when I go to cook the egg, I put, grab the pan and I crack the egg and then I start cooking. I forgot to put cooking spray in the pan. So now I'm actually genuinely yelling at myself in the house. I'm pretty sure my neighbors can actually hear me at this point, yelling to myself about the fact that all of this bullshit is happening to me, all because my wife decided to text me about random bullshit that didn't have anything to do with anything. So now I have to set aside the pan and now half of the egg is burnt in there and that's going to be an extra dish I have to wash. And all of this is just adding up to me just getting more and more frustrated. And it's getting to the point to where I am at the point to where I'm going to carry my emotional state over and bring it on to her because she needs to know how she's ruined the rest of my day because she texted me random bullshit. So now it gets to the point to where I'm thinking in my head, yeah, I'm going to let her know exactly how bad my day was because she went out of her way to text me. So I'm sitting here thinking about all the things I'm going to say to her, all the ways I'm going to react to her, every single other thing that I'm going to tell her, this and this and this and this and this happened because while you were gone. So now everything's set on the table and everything's ready to go. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I can't wait for when she gets home because I'm going to unload on her. So now it gets to the point. She comes home. She steps up the steps and she's unlocking the door. I start walking and stepping towards the door. She opens the door and I raise my hand to her. And then I caress her cheek and I tell her, welcome home. I hope that your workday hasn't been frustrating because I've had a frustrating day, but I have lunch for us. Let's go eat and talk. And we ate and we talked 
and I told her about all this stupid bullshit that happened, and we laughed about it. So why is this story significant? Because a lot of younger people these days that are in very new relationships or in unstable relationships, they're going to take an unrelated event and they're going to carry their emotions and push them onto another person that didn't have anything to do with how you built up your emotions. My wife didn't have anything to do with the fact that I spilled the rice twice, threw the dustpan out the door, burnt half of the egg. She didn't have anything to do with any of that. So why would you push your negative emotions? Now mind you, you can share your negative experiences like I did, but why would you push and shove those negative emotions that you carry as a man and push them onto your spouse? It should be very dangerous if a man is emotional and he pushes those emotions onto his wife or his family that he's created with his wife, or his significant other if they're not married. God forbid your kids. These early emotions that you have of anger, of frustration, of angst, of any negative emotion that you can think of, do not get taken out on others. You take them out on your own time. And there was exactly maybe two minutes after I got done cooking and getting lunch ready until my wife came through and opened the door. So what did I do to get myself under control from being genuinely hot and ready to actually bust out on my wife? <laughs> bust out. No, okay. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so how did I go from being ready to absolutely burst my anger onto my That still sounds sexual. How did I go from being angry at my wife to not being angry? I know I talk about deep breathing a lot in all my videos, but you have no idea just how impactful two to three genuinely belly moving, ball moving, like you genuinely, when you deep breathe, you breathe so deeply that it actually feels like it's filling up your neck and you feel your balls move. A true deep breath like that just two times gets you to rethink and get oxygen back into your brain because when you're angry and your emotions are running high and you're in a state of like you know physical contact and you're in fight or flight mode your adrenaline is going and your brain isn't getting enough proper oxygen to actually thoroughly think about the situation because it's going on instinct you need to get out of this instinctual phase and stop carrying it through to when you come in contact with someone. And the easiest way to do that is to do a deep breath. And then actually think to yourself, why do I feel this? If you're not in a situation where you immediately need to act, you need to think to yourself, is this really worth blowing up on? It never is. It will only cause destruction and chaos in your life. You are going to be your own home wrecker if you carry your emotional have an ass into other lives. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't express emotions. That doesn't mean that you can't feel emotions. But it is my opinion that as a man, as the person that is stable and provides stability in your family, that you need to be the one that brings positive, loving, generous emotions to your family and not negative, stressful, angry emotions. Okay, but what if deep breathing doesn't help for some ungodly reason? If for whatever reason, deep breathing is not helping you, which I don't know anybody that it doesn't, but if for some reason it doesn't, go outside and go run. Just go outside and go for a run. Run as fast as you can, as hard as you can for five minutes. Genuinely push yourself until you are breathing and coughing and on the ground lying down. That also helps a lot, by the way. I'm not just saying that. Genuinely push yourself to a physical limit just to get the frustration out of your system. 
all this to say, a lot of this modern, oh, be open about your feelings and be honest about your feelings bullshit doesn't work, especially when those feelings are negative. A large, very large, vast majority of people don't give a fuck about you. Don't give a fuck about your feelings. They just care about themselves. And you need to come to terms with that, with yourself and with the ones that you love, whether it's your wife, girlfriend, children, or whomever. Being able to control these negative emotions and carry them into yourself and expel them out of your system is going to be so key and helpful to making sure that you have a loving, lasting relationship with a happy wife and happy children in the future. It is going to change your life if you can learn to control your negative emotions. It doesn't mean that you can't experience them. You absolutely can. You could go and ask my neighbors, and I guarantee you anything, they heard me yelling and screaming, and they were probably actually worried for a minute. But as long as you're around others, you need to be under control of those emotions. I was alone, so it was fine for me to express them to me, but I'm still a work in progress, as we always are. So I just hope that this little story of mine kind of helps put into perspective what you can do. I'm hopeful that this at least helped you some way and that you find value in my advice and my old wise wisdom. I'm going to be turning 30 soon in a few months, like in about five more months, I'm going to be turning 30. So maybe in five more months, I'll make a what I regret in my 20s video like all these cliche other YouTubers are doing. But anyways, I digress. Let me know in the comments below what your opinion is on managing emotions as well as any other tips that you have when you experience something negative and you just need to let it out. Look forward to seeing you around again and take care of yourself, man.